Welcome back everyone to another Grand Theft Auto 5 video. And in today's video, I will be showing you guys how you can actually level up really quickly. And the good thing is there's actually no requirements to get started with this. So you can literally do this by yourself and you don't need anything purchased to get started. So just getting started with this, as you guys may or may not know it, but recently Rockstar just added a new race type, which is actually going to be drag races. Now due to the release of this, they actually made a dull money and RP for this week. And of course with that, we're going to be getting a ton of RP off of this. Now, originally, I was going to make a video on this because I didn't think it was going to be that good. But after testing it out and actually realizing how much RP you get for the time that we actually spent on it, it's a really, really good RP method. So, of course, like I said in the beginning of the video, you don't need anything at all. And, of course, what you want to first do is make your way into any GTA Online session. For this one, I am an invite only, but like I said, it does not matter. From here, what you would then want to go ahead and do is press options, go to online, then go over to jobs, go over to play jobs, go over to Rockstar Created, and then make your way over to races, and just keep on scrolling until you find the Drag Race series. So you can see here, there is actually seven of them that you can choose from, and if you notice, on the top right -hand corner, it is Dome Money and RP for this week, as well as it unlocks at rank 1, and you can do this completely by yourself. So you can choose whichever one that you want to. The one that I feel has actually probably the easiest for drag racing as well as the quickest for RP is going to be the drag race high and dry. So from here, once you find the drag race that you want to do it, just go ahead and start it up. In the settings menu, you can basically leave everything the same if you want to. The only thing I like to do is change the time of day just because I don't like it to be nighttime. But other than that, I just kind of leave it alone from there. From here, once you're done messing with the settings, just go ahead and confirm settings, and then go ahead and launch the job. So what is then going to happen is it's going to start you out by the finish or the starting line, and what you have to do is get all the way to the finish line. For this one, you have to do a burnout, and what you're trying to do is get as close to the blue as possible to create the best burnout for this. And then from here, you just want to go ahead and accelerate right whenever it says go, and then what you're essentially doing is actually shifting you. For this one, I'm playing on PC, so I'm having to hold down the right shift key in order to shift up. And so basically what you're trying to do is shift right whenever it hits that blue line. And then after that, once you get done shifting, it's not going to give you any indicators like a blue line or anything like that. So from here, just go ahead and drive it straight up without crashing into anything. If you do crash, you will have to shift down. Uh, most of the time, as long as you don't have to worry about traffic, you don't have to worry about stopping or slowing down. So just go ahead and keep on going straight as possible. You see here I now have nitrous available. In order to do nitrous, you just go ahead pressing on the keyboard. And then literally nitrous is going to show up. This is actually super cool that Rockstar did this. You see here I did crash, so it's going to go and shift down here. And so now we have to shift up. I'm not really good at this. This is my second time doing the drag race. So, you know, I'm not going to be good at this at all. But you can see here, I am starting to shift up now, but that's basically what you're doing. Just going ahead and drag racing the whole time. And since you're doing this by yourself, you don't really have to compete with anyone at all. You just have to get to the finish line without, you know, trying not to crash or anything. So I am now about to approach this finish line here, and there we go. So what makes this actually a really, really good RP method isn't the amount that we get, but the amount that we actually get for the time that it took. So you see here, whenever it does show up here in a second, you can see here I made 570 RP, and I only spent a minute and 24 seconds. Now you want to try to get the fastest time possible, because you get that same amount of RP, whether you spend 50 seconds on it, or if you spent 2 minutes. I'm not exactly sure when the RP starts going up, but it's actually more worth it to go as fast as possible, because you get the same amount of RP. And so now we just have to choose a different one. If you do want to choose the same one, there might be a chance that it's going to show up for the job that you can select. But if you're not and you still want to do that same job, just go to free mode and go ahead and start up the job again. And for that, you want to go into invite only so you're having to not worry about loading times. And it's basically the full rotation. Just keep on doing this over and over. And you honestly make more RP than really any other RP method. Not including the Carter Crate method, which is currently the best one in the game so far. And probably is going to be forever. So let's go ahead. We're going to try this again. And this time, I'm going to try to go as fast as possible. To show you that you get the same amount of RP 
whether you spend a minute 24 seconds or a minute two seconds doing it all right so this time it was a clean race i did not hit anything at all as well as i basically did the speed boost as the best i can so this one should have been way faster than our last one that we did and you're going to see that we get the same amount of rp so let's go ahead and look here. You see here I beat this in 1 minute and 13 seconds. Way faster than my other one. And got the same amount of RP which is 570. Now the cash isn't really that important. To be honest the cash isn't worth it. Because you're only making around 2k. And there is plenty of other money methods that are better. But for RP I think this one is really good for people who don't own like a cargo warehouse or anything like that. Or just don't own anything at all and it's just starting out in the game. So what I want to go ahead and do it is I actually just want to do this three times. That way I can show you how good this RP method is. And I'm going to try to do it as fast as possible. So let me go ahead and set a timer. Alright, so this is going to be the last one that we're going to do. And it looks like it's going to stop at 8 minutes and 15 seconds. So we're going to go ahead now add up the RP that we had in total. I believe I was able to do this three or four times before I stopped the time here. And again, for this one, we got 570 RP. So now let's go ahead and add that up. I wasn't exactly sure how many races I was able to do at that time. Also, you get 50 RP for rating it, but it's not really that much, so I don't really count it. So now I'm going to go ahead and see how much RP we got for all of this. Alright, so I went ahead and finally added up the total amount of RP for doing the whole thing. And for this, we got a total of 4,344 RP in 8 minutes and 10 seconds. Now, if you divide this by 1 minute, you're actually going to get around 525 RP every time you do a race, basically. And so, of course, that's actually really, really good. Now, it's not the best RP method in the game, but anyone just starting out, you don't own any businesses at all. This is a really good RP method. I actually was going to do the flips, but then I realized if you actually do the flip RP method, where basically you do any type of stunt race and you do flips, you get about what was it 25 rp per flip it's actually worse than doing the drag races but that's only if it's no money in rp for doing the drag races if it's not the stunt race is still going to be the best one but if the drag race no money in rp go with that one if you're just starting out and you want to level up quickly and so that is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it if you did feel free to like and subscribe for more gta 5 videos and content like this and with that being said, you guys have a great one, stay safe out there, and goodbye.